Hello, this is Eric. Let's take a look at this week's problem of the week from brilliant.org. So this question is interesting because we'll use a very powerful mathematical proof method to solve it, which is called the indirect proof. And you've all probably used this with multiple choice questions where you exclude some of the options because they lead to a contradiction. And we're going to do the same here. So the, the the thing the question asks for is that um, we have an expression. We don't know what the expression is. It's uh, smudged up here. and But it, we know that for all positive integers n, the expression above is always divisible by all of the following positive integers except one. Which one? So we know there's just a single of these numbers by which the expression is divisible for all integers n. And n is probably some part of this expression. So for divisibility, it's it's always good to look at the prime factors. So I'm going to write these options down here in that way. So 20 is uh, 2 times 2 times 5. And I also put 10 here is uh, 2 times 5. And we have 6 equals 2 times 3. And finally, just 2, which is a prime factor itself and three okay and i'll draw this little diagram here to help us reason through this and um so actually so so these are our prime factors uh, these are our numbers we are looking at and we know the expression is only divisible by not divisible by exactly one of them and we know that well six is two times three and we also know like if something is divisible by 20 it will be divisible by 10. Um, uh, same here if it's divisible by 20 it's also divisible by 2. If it's divisible by 10 it will also be divisible by 2. So these are kind of the connections we have here. Okay so let's go through these options one by one and see uh, which of them lead to a contradiction. Let's start with a 2. So if the expression is not divisible by 2. Um, that would automatically mean it's not divisible by 6 either, right? But we know that it's just, it's divisible by all but 1. So it can't be the 2. Okay. Okay. Get rid of the 2 here. Let's look at 3. And actually here we have exactly the same argument. If it's divisible by 3, then it if it's not divisible by 3, then it can't be divisible by 6 either. But our condition is that it's only not divisible by one of these numbers. So 3 doesn't work either. What about 6? Well, if it's not divisible by 6, it could still be divisible by 2 or 3. But it couldn't be divisible by both of them, because both of them together would make 6, and then it should be divisible by 6 too, which is which contradicts where we started with saying, well, let's see if it's not divisible by 6. So we have a contradiction here too, and can rule out the 6. Next thing to look at is the 10 here. And let's see if the expression is not divisible by 10, then it automatically is not divisible by 20 either. And that would mean that, well, we have a contradiction again, because now it's already not divisible by two of these, but it can only be not divisible by one of these. Okay, can rule out the 10. And that means we are left with the 20 down here, and that must be our solution. Now, it's not untypical that, like here, in this type of proof, you actually n never really have to uh, construct something like this original uh, expression here. Um, but it's interesting to think about what this expression might have been. So there are many possibilities for that. Um, but let's just try to come up with one that would work. And so we know it's an expression which includes an n and it's divisible by 10, 6, 2, 3, but not 20 for all positive integers n. And that means we shouldn't have the n as an addend in there, because then we probably can fix it to a value that makes it divisible by 20. And 
Uh, same goes uh, if we have n as a factor. So uh, then maybe, for example, if n is 20 uh, for, for many expressions, that could easily lead to the whole expression being divisible by 20. One thing that might work really well, though, is using is a, a n as an exponent, like in this example. So let's start with 10 times 3. So that's 30. That would fulfill this thing already. Um, divisible by 10, 6, 2, 3, but not by 20. Um, and I'll put the, I'll stick the n into here as an exponent to this number 3. And that way, if n starts at 1, 2, 3, and so on, we'll just get more prime factors 3 in there, which obviously still makes it divisible by these four numbers, but will not make it divisible by 20, because we don't have these two 2s as prime factors in here. Uh, no matter how high or, or low we, we make our n. Uh, 